Shalom to my brothers and sisters. And shalom means peace. Now, I know you're probably wondering when you saw the title on the video. So I'm going to make this clear whom I'm talking to in this video. This message is only for the original natives of America. Now, today you call them the Indians. But my brothers and sisters, I know that's not what you call yourself. That's what the Europeans call you. So this message is only for you and to your descendants today. Attention all natives of Americas, not the Europeans and the foreigners. This message is not to the Europeans and the foreigners of this country, which is called America. Attention all Native Americans, not Europeans and the foreigners. They do not want you to hear your whole message. Now, you know, we have a Holy Father in heaven and he is speaking through his prophet and prophetess, my brothers and sisters, for it's fulfilling Joel chapter two and Acts chapter two, that our sons and daughters shall be prophesying in these last days. And our Holy Father in heaven has spoken. They have spoken, Datus. And I want you to hear his holy message. Now, these Pharisees, Sadducees, and Herodians today hate this message. And they do not want you to hear it. For this message go against their agenda. You see, my brothers and sisters, Yahuwah has shown to me that we are in the seventh day from Adam, which is the 12,000th year from creation. And based on the evidence that he brought before me, so far I have 7,485 years from Adam. And when we convert that to Beta Israel time slash Kushta, we get 7,088 years. And when we convert it to the Jewish people time, who are the D the descendants of Japheth and Esau, we get 5,777 years. Now, the reason why their year is lower because they don't believe in the, the Messiah. Now, the next thing you are wondering is that how does the Bible pertain to you? And how does this holy message from my Father in heaven pertain to you? See, the word will tell you where you originally came from. So I need for you to read 2 Esther chapter 13 and Deuteronomy chapter 33. For the head tribe in your nation, natives of America, I'm speaking to you, to the head tribe of your nations. I'm talking about your ancestor, your ancestor tribe that was over the other tribes in your kingdom. Word, I'm sorry. In the word, it states that from that head tribe, they push your people to the ends of the earth. And this is how you got into America, my brothers and sisters. So definitely read 2 Ezra chapter 13 and Deuteronomy chapter 33 and Genesis chapter 49. Now you're probably wondering, how did I get the time to know what day we are in? For the word in the King James 1611 Bible told me that a day unto Yahuwah is a thousand years. So this is how I knew that we are in the seventh thousand year from Adam. When you read 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 and Psalms chapter 90 verse 4. And there are many other scriptures and evidence from other books that would prove unto us that we are in the seventh day from Adam. Now, the chapter we will confirm this is 2 Ezra chapter 7, but also read 2 Ezra chapter 6 so we can understand what is going on between the, the descendants of Jacob versus the descendants of Esau. There's a prophecy that's going on between these two brothers and with their descendants. And these links will be in the video description box for you to review. 
Now, Yahuwah, I'm sorry, Yahuwah also have a second message. Now, this second message is for everybody. And I say everybody, this not only go for to the natives of America, but it also goes for the foreigners, the strangers, okay? And that link will be in the video description box and in this video. Look to your right-hand corner and click on the I. And please check the video description box for the details that pertains to Yahuwah message, the first message. Please check the video description box for that message. And now you shall hear Yahuwah's messenger. I want to close out first with this prayer. What you see before the screen is our father name in Paleo Hebrew and his son name in Paleo Hebrew. Yahuwah, who is our Holy Father, and Yahusha, who is his son, the Messiah. I am aware that many pronounce their names differently, but that is how I pronounce it. So I close out with this prayer. I plead the blood of Yahusha HaMashiach upon this video post and the links attached. I pray that the natives of America, I'm talking about the original people who were here before the foreigners came, before the Europeans came and brought the slaves over here. I'm talking to the original natives of America. I pray that you receive this message. And if you don't understand it, please seek out Yahuwah and he will give you understanding of this message. And I pray that whatever our enemies have planned against us, that it fall upon their heads and that it fall in their own pits. And what I have not prayed in this prayer, I pray that Yahuwah will fulfill it according to his will. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, so be it. Now you shall hear the message that comes from Yahuwah. And excuse my phone. Hi, good afternoon. Um, let me begin this video by introducing myself to you. My name is Carla, and I am from the islands of Trinidad and Tobago. I live on Trinidad. Anyway, um... This is my first time ever doing a YouTube video. I have never done this before. It is not me to do videos. But however, I have been led to do this video by the Most High. Um, what happened is that he gave to me a prophecy, a word that, well, it kind of came about through, over a period of time, through much study and much prayer and so he instructed me to write these words out to put it out there and also to do the video with me actually speaking the words so um, I published it I believe it was about two weeks ago it is now on my blog remnant once children of light I will put a link below this video so that you can access it if you wish I've also done a PDF file of the word to you know for easy access you can print if you want um, I would also say that since publishing the word I have attempted on several occasions to do this video but every time I attempted to do it I had problems problem after problem so much so I decided to not bother but um, a couple nights ago he impressed upon me again that I need to do this video and so I need I know that I need to do this you know it's it's just it's like every obstacle every hindrance every everything it's just preventing me from doing this video so as I said here I am yet again trying to get it out there so I pray that as I read well before I say that let me just also say that the title to the word is an awakening call and so obviously by the name it suggests therefore that it is sent to awaken you whoever you may be out there in whatever part of the world you're in um, so I pray that as you listen to my reading that your spiritual ears would be open to hear what he is saying I pray that you would discern what he is saying and I also pray that you would understand and glean what he is communicating to you through these words 
All right, so without further ado, let me read. It starts with an introduction and then I will get into the word. And so this is the introduction. I speak forth this word under the instruction of the Most High Elohim, whose name is yod He vav He, El of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, El of Israel. He has instructed me to speak and to write these words. These words are directed to his people Israel, natural born, descendants of all 12 tribes scattered in foreign lands throughout the four corners of the earth. I say natural born because it is you he has specifically told me to address. Though you are unaware of your true identity and nationality, he will reveal it to you. Uh, yet he has already, for you know who you are in your hearts. You are the seed of Israel. Bear in mind, this awakening call is not for a church, religious organization, denomination, or a movement, but it is for a nation of people. These words will vex, anger, and offend many of you who will hear and read them. He has already warned me of this. Nevertheless, I am instructed to speak fearlessly and boldly what he has shown me. And so this is the word now. Thus says yod he vav he Elohim to the twelve tribes of Israel scattered abroad, Wake up, arise, for it is time. It is time you know who you are. Though I have caused the memory of you as a nation to cease, and your identity to be blotted out and erased from mankind, yet am I awakening you, for it is time. It is time you know and understand who you are, what your forefathers did that caused your exile into the nations, how they disobeyed my laws, statutes, and commandments, how they angered me, sinned against me, defiling themselves and the land I gave to them as an inheritance, how they profaned my name and worshipped idols made of stone and wood, gods I never showed them, how they bowed their knees to them, sacrificed their sons to them, shedding the blood of my innocent ones. They provoked me to anger, they moved me to jealousy. So I removed them from the land of their inheritance, the land of promise. I scattered them into the nations among the Gentiles in the four corners of the earth where you dwell. You got there by ships, you got there by way of the seas, east, west, north, south. I have scattered you as I said I would. I have cursed you as I said I would. Because your fathers did not obey my commands, they chose curses and death over blessings and life. Neither do you obey. It is time you know and understand these things that I have done and repent. Repent for your fathers, repent for yourselves. Here is my testimony against your fathers. My witness I have preserved for you. A song I told my servant Moses to write and teach your fathers. Though you were in their loins, yet you heard. A song for them, a song for you so that you would know what they did and understand what I have done. They broke covenant with me, although I was their rock, their husband, their maker. They moved me to jealousy with their idols. So do I move you to jealousy with a people, not a people. A people I have concealed, yet revealed. They are hidden and covered over, like the moon hides the sun in an eclipse. A people whom I have caused to believe are you, though they are not, as they are of another house, another tent, another nation, so as to make you jealous, like your fathers made me jealous. Therefore have I put them in your place and in your land. I have allowed them to dwell in your tents. Yes, know that it is I who has done this thing, as I said I would to make you jealous, like I told my servant Moses to write in the song, so that you would know, so that you would understand.
Yet will I give to this people peace and blessings, as I have promised, though among them are those of the synagogue of Satan, whom I will destroy. I am provoking you to anger, just as your fathers did to me with their vain, empty, foolish idols. I am provoking you with a foolish people, people of the nations, Gentiles, for they have angered you, and they do anger you. Yet have I given them an opportunity to turn to me, to be my people as you are, to walk in obedience to my laws, statutes, and commandments, because your falling away has opened the door of salvation to them. But the time has come for your restoration, for you to return to me, and for me to receive you unto myself as my people. For in your restoration is the fullness of the earth, the realignment of the cosmos and the universe. It is life from the dead. Have you not heard that all creation groans and travails for your manifestation as a nation, a people? Do you not know these things? It is time to come forth, O Israel. It is time for your birth. Repent and return to me. Return to my Torah, my instructions, my commandments. Pray towards the land and the city from whence you came, and I would restore unto you all that I have promised, when I shall bring you back into your own land, the land of your inheritance, which I gave to your fathers. Then will you know that I have performed what I have spoken, not for your sakes, but for my holy name's sake and for the sake of the covenant I made with my servant, Abraham. Wake up, repent, and prepare, for my kingdom draws near. And so that is the word. I will give you a couple of scriptures that you can read where the word, you know, where he spoke to me from to put, you know, these words together. And the Song of Moses, you can find that in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 16 through 30, continuing on in Deuteronomy 32, verses 1 through 47. You could also read Genesis 10, 1 through 3, and Genesis 9, verse 27. Romans 10, 19, and then 11, verses 1 through 15. And then... Second Chronicles chapter 6 verses 36 to 39 and yeah that's that's about it you can you can read those and um, I pray like I said that you would glean what he has been saying through or what he is saying to you through this word um, like I said this is my first video probably might be my last because again I don't do this unless he leads me to do another one then I will so thanks for listening thanks for your time and shalom shalom bye